So there's many levels of self-evaluation. And many boards, many groups of folks that work together will, at the end of a meeting, for example, say, how did that meeting go? That's self-evaluation. It's a very low level, kind of easy access for, way to say, did we do what we thought we were going to do? You don't necessarily have to have a whole lot of formality around that. But if you want to have some more formal self-evaluation, you might say, did we have some agreements that we'd made in advance, and did we, did we meet what we said we would do? And so boards who have written agreements, as a board that uses the policy governance model might have, agreements about how we're going to operate together or how we're going to empower someone else, you might then go and check those agreements and on a regular basis evaluate, did we do what we said we were going to do? If you're going to do that, a couple different ways that boards have successfully managed to do that kind of self-evaluation. One is to create a formal survey where you might take the policy criteria, the agreements that you've written down, and then do a survey of everybody before the meeting and then say, how did, let's, let's get some data. How did we say we were going to do on that? Another way you might approach it is, in a slightly less formal way, is just have a conversation at the board meeting. Here's our agreement, how have we been doing on this lately? And out of that conversation, make some decisions about what you might need to do or pay attention to going forward. That's what you can do on a monthly basis. On an annual basis, it might be useful to step back and say, let's look at the whole picture. Let's see how we, how we think about that from a different, uh, different lens, a different viewpoint, different perspective. And so an annual self-evaluation could be a compilation of all the policy agreements that you've got put together in one survey form and then have each board member fill out that survey using the written criteria from your policies. If you're already doing that on a monthly basis using a formal survey of your policies, you may not want to do the same thing on an annual basis. And you might find that the, the CBUILD self-evaluation, self-assessment tool is really useful. It's designed with the four pillars of cooperative governance in mind. and helps you think about at a board level, are we taking care of teaming? Are we really doing a good job in the realm of accountable empowerment? Have we been working well in the realm of strategic leadership? And how have we been doing in terms of creating a participatory democracy in our cooperative? So that kind of survey is available in our, in our C -Build, from your CBUILD consultant. And you might find that's a great addition to your ongoing self-evaluation work. You never want self-evaluation to be the primary work that you're doing. But if it's something you can fit in on a, on a regular basis, uh, on, in every way, in, in every part of the work that you're doing, it can be really useful to give you some information that you can then use to keep getting better at what you're doing.